NASA Langley's wind tunnels play a crucial role in the development, assessment, and optimization of advanced aerospace vehicle concepts. Two of those wind tunnels are the 4-foot supersonic unitary plan wind tunnel and the 31-inch Mach 10 tunnel. As Langley's only continuous flow supersonic wind tunnel, the 4-foot supersonic unitary plan wind tunnel, or UPWT, has been operating continuously since 1955. Equipped with asymmetric sliding block type nozzles, the tunnel maximizes the test time for the engineers and technicians by providing continuous variation of Mach number. Every major NASA aerodynamics program has been tested at the UPWT, including the Space Shuttle, Orion, and most recently, the Space Launch System, NASA's most powerful rocket ever that will power our return to the moon. The 31-inch Mach 10 tunnel is a part of Langley's Aerothermodynamics Laboratory. Instead of fan blades, the tunnel operates with high-pressure air on one end that is pushed through to vacuum spheres on the other end that have low air pressure. This unique tunnel has been helping NASA answer important questions about entry and re-entry for vehicles like the Orion capsule, the Space Shuttle, and various Mars landers, as well as launch vehicles like Ares since 1957.